Nestled in the northwestern region of Kenya, Turkana County is a tapestry of arid beauty marked by the scorching sun, rolling hills and expansive desert-like terrain. The climate here is unforgiving with the relentless sun casting a warm glow on the dry cracked earth. Vast lands stretch as far as the eye can see, creating a sense of isolation and survival against the elements. Amidst this breathtaking backdrop, the people of Turkana face unique challenges. The scarcity of water and vegetation makes sustenance a constant struggle. Families navigate the harsh reality of food insecurity where the search for water and grazing lands becomes a daily ritual. Turkana is a pastoralist community where livestock is the primary source of livelihood. However, worsening droughts have rendered this traditional way of life unsustainable. As a county, we have the leading livestock population in Kenya. As we all know, Turkana is in Asal County, so we are having uh, a challenge of recurrent droughts. Having these recurrent droughts, we have a challenge or a problem of inadequate pasture and water. In 2021, the Adventist Development and Relief Agency, ADRA, introduced the BRACE project, an acronym for Building Resilience Against Crisis Effects in Turkana Central Sub-County. Before inception of the project, uh, we found that the community was in such a vulnerable situation due to the COVID-19 crisis and the prolonged drought within Turkana County. Whereby you'd find, find households who are unable to access even food. Some of them talk about not even having one meal per day. A number of these people didn't, didn't even have any access to productive assets. We have no land where they can be able to farm. We have no small businesses. So they are relying on maybe help from their neighbors in order for them to get some food. What made us join the Breast Project was drought and hunger. We were convinced that engaging in crop farming would reduce our over-reliance on livestock and cushion us from the effects of drought. The Breast Project focuses on immediate, short-term and long-term food insecurity issues. Divided into three key components, humanitarian, livelihood and gender. The Breast Project was targeting a total of 2,000 households, whereby 1,550 were targeted for both cash transfer and livelihood intervention, and 450 were targeted for the livelihood interventions only. So what the project was doing is, first of all, responding to the food needs of the community in response to crisis, which at the time was COVID-19, as well as the drought situation in Turkana County, whereby it was targeting the most vulnerable households for food assistance through cash transfer. This is whereby the households were able to receive an amount of money determined by the minimum expenditure basket for Turkana County. In terms of the development activities, um, we had the cash for work component, for building community assets. This was supposed to support the livelihood interventions, crop farming, livestock, uh, improving access to water through irrigation canals, the shallow wells, for them to be able to engage in their uh, crop production. It aims to increase consumption of nutritious food, strengthen livelihoods, and promoting meaningful participation and empowerment of women in the local food system. Livelihood interventions include innovative approaches like vegetable production through water-saving technologies. Initially, the people were a bit skeptical about adoption of these farming interventions, but over time there's been an increased uptake. Participants have been empowered to produce food for their own consumption at household level and also for sale. melon, na kitungu, na nimepanda nyanya na pia niko na mboga hii melon itanitolea 100000 alafu nyanya nyanya zote nikiuza yenye ziko hapa kwa hii shamba itanipatia 200 sasa hiyo ni hesabu ya 300 nikiongeza na mboga pamoja na kitunguu litatengeneza 400 eh hiyo ndio nitapata wakati nitamaliza kuuza hizi vitu zote Na ile shamba ingine pia, iko, iko mboga pale. Nikiuza, esabi yangu yote, ite esapata miasita. ADRA Kenya and its partners, ADRA Canada and Canadian Food Greens Bank, 
have worked very closely with the Ministry of Agriculture and Ministry of Livestock to conduct trainings for potential lead farmers who now serve as community resource persons. I trained as a community disease reporter and I was trained as a community knowledge. I was able to differentiate as we introduced the crop, the pasture production for the livestock, and this was able to mitigate, be able to support them, to support the livestock during the drought, and that is why we had very uh, minimal loss for the livestock because of that. Whenever our animals move from one area to another in search of uh, pasture, we need to have a coordinated movement, not just moving anyhow that is bringing conflict. Uh, ADRA has supported the groups in uh, trainings, the training of pasture groups. They have done some piping and storage of water for irrigation of pasture in some of the groups. Uh, they have done uh, issues of uh, management, uh, training on the management of the pasture up to harvesting and marketing. These groups are now utilizing the pasture they have gotten and the surplus have been sold for income for this group. To sustain livelihood interventions, the BRACE project introduced relief saving and learning schemes, allowing participants engaged in vegetable production to save and invest income, diversifying their livelihood sources. Encouraging uh, the communities to be able to cultivate a saving culture, whereby once they earn an income from the various livelihood options, whether it's from sale of surplus in farming or the small businesses that they run, they're able to save part of this money in the VSLA groups, whereby they're also able to access more loans, whereby they can engage in other income-generating activities. During the project's inception, ADRA conducted a rapid gender analysis, leading to the creation of a network of gender champions. These champions spread across to Kana Central, having been empowered to address gender-related issues and sensitize the community on gender-based violence. We started with training gender champions who are advocating for, for the rights of the women because when we came we found that even the women were not aware of their rights and even some of the GBV cases, the gender-based violence cases, we find that the cases were attributed to culture so the women were, did not even know that whatever was being done to them was an injustice but through the training of the gender champions we were able to train these women, we were also able to train community leaders and we have been able to see the results because when we came here, even the women were, they didn't have the confidence levels. They couldn't even stand in front of people. Najua, sisi, kwa hapa sehemu yetu ya Turkana, ilikuwa mwanamuke, yani hana sauti. Mwanamuke ilikuwa ni mutu tuku nyamaza wako nyuma. Ilikuwa tuwe ni mutu ya kukaa nyumbani. Musea naenda anatafuta. Lakini vile utumefundishwa na Adra, ya kwamba, Yani watu yote mama ama mse, ama msichana ama kijana, wote ni wamuhimu. Pia ilikuwa hapa Turkana, mtoto mdogo anaweza kuolewa. Yani anabukiwa akiwa mdogo miaka 12. Hiyo mtoto ataenda na tena ni mse ndiye anachukua. Hiyo mtoto ataenda kuanza maisha na mna gani na mse. Sasa ndio adra akatufundisha kwamba watoto wapeleke wapi? Shule. Hiyo mtoto ana nafasi ya kusoma. In just three years, the BRACE project has transformed Turkana, turning once desolate lands into vibrant testimonies of agricultural success. Farms have not only sprouted crops, but hope and sustenance for families in Turkana. Meet Selin Adut, a 26-year-old mother of three who, through the cash transfer program, invested in farming, bought a motorbike for her business, and returned to school. Selin is currently pursuing a diploma in general agriculture at Turkana College. Wakati Adra ilikuja, ilinisaidia mi kwa sabi ilikuwa napata yu cash transfer. Nilikuwa napeana kidogo shule, kidogo inasaidia nyumbani. Niliesa kumalisa certificate na saisi niko diploma model 2. Sasa wakati enye nilipata yu merry go round, Nikana nikachukua piki piki ya loan. Driver pia alikuwa ananipeanga 400 yani kwa siku. Kwa wiki ni 2000. Ifo ndio nilikuwa na ilikuwa inanisaidia kulipa piki piki. Na piki piki nilimaliza baada ya mwaka mmoja.
Jacqueline, on the other hand, not only invested in farming but ventured further, purchasing a piece of land with proceeds from her first harvest. Her story echoes through the transformed landscapes of Turkana. Her rental houses, a testament of hard work and determination. Wakati tulianza na Adra, ilianza kupanda melon na nikapanda nyanya, nikapanda kitungu, nikanunua ploti. Na kwa sasa, nimejenga hiyo ploti. Kuna nyumba za rental, nimejenga. Nilijenga nikilima, nina toa iso fedha, nina, nina nunua materials. Nina jipanga pole pole kutengeneza hiyo ploti. Na nimeunda hiyo ploti mpaka sasa nimemaliza nimebaki tu finishing. Sasa ile kazi saa hizi nataka nifanye hizi fedha zote nikitengeneza niuse nitamaliza na hiyo mra hiyo nyumba nimetengeneza. Na pia kuna pesa ya nini mbusi ya maziwa nimenunua kutokana tu na hizi mimea hizi vitu ya shamba. In Nandoto village the growth has been steady and remarkable. Under the leadership of Samuel the Bay, what began as an experiment on half an acre piece of land has transformed into a sprawling six-acre farm, a testament to the dedication and collaborative efforts of the group through the help of ADRA and its partners. Samuel's leadership not only secured economic prosperity for the group, but also fostered an environment that inspired mentoring. The Nandoto group took on the role of mentors, supporting and uplifting another group of 16 members who are now thriving in their agricultural endeavors. Inspired by individual successes, participants like Selin, Jacqueline and Samuel express a collective vision of expanding their funds, acquiring more livestock and engaging in sustainable agribusiness ventures. We have plans to purchase a vehicle that will transport our harvest from the farm to the market. Despite notable successes, challenges persist. The harsh climate and arid conditions in Turkana pose significant hurdles to the sustainability of reclaimed lands. Limited access to water resources, unpredictable rainfall, soil erosion, and nutrient depletion remain ongoing concerns, emphasizing the needs for continuous support and innovative solutions to ensure the resilience of agricultural initiatives in Turkana. The project has done good work and uh, there is need for upscaling because our county is big, 77,000 square kilometers with a big population of over a million. So we really need to upscale these lessons learned or good practices to other areas so that uh, we really meet uh, the larger population of Trukana for food and nutrition security. As the BRIS project comes to its end, it's the beginning of a new chapter for the people of Turkana. The once arid landscapes now teeming with life and sustenance stand as a testament to the transformative power of community-driven initiatives and innovative solutions. I am persuaded that uh, the impact of the project program run by ADRA speaks for itself. People are better than they were nutrition-wise and even in terms of capacity. And I believe that uh, we are on a better footing comparatively. But uh, given that we are recovering from a dire situation, I wouldn't stop praying that uh, we get uh, benevolence so that we can continue this support for maybe like another year or so so that we can be able to consolidate on the gains. This initiative has not only cultivated crops, but also nurtured hope, financial independence, and community empowerment. Nashukuru sana Adra, kwa sababu, hata skills mingi, imenipatia, hata kwa wakati huu sasa, mimi nimeonekana mimi ni mkulima mkubwa sana, mwenye watu wengi wanakuja kusoma kutoka kwangu. Na elimu ambayo tumepewa na adra, iya itatoka kwa akili yetu. Tutajisimamia na tutueendelesha kwa sababu tumeona usuri. Wakati adra ilikuja na nikanipata file nilikuwa, ni kama hata mi labda masomo haingeendelea. Ama hata mambusi ama pikipiki singeesa ukuwa na ayo. 
ama hata mboma vile ingekuwa labda haingekuwa vile iko sahi na na vile sahi inaendelea msuri. Mimi nashukuru Adra sana. The situation where they were before and currently it's quite different and much better because of the project interventions. Currently, a good number of the project participants have been able to um, have improved access to community assets, that is the land. They also have improved access to water for farming uh, through the irrigation canals as well as the shallow wells. We have groups which have been supported through the community water assets. So I know that moving forward, the best foundation for the livelihoods is there already. Just require a bit of uh, maybe more capacity building and injection of maybe more investments into especially access to water to ensure that these livelihoods are more resilient to the climatic shocks.